ladies and gentlemen welcome back to a long overdue video i've been putting this one off for quite some time reason being there's just so much content to go over and to go through i know how long it's going to take um out of these so basically i'm going to take you through the up-to-date most up-to-date server files otherwise known as you'll know them as rib esx3 but i'll go with esx4 it's only got a couple of updates since three so they're exactly the same pretty much um and i'll take you through the files what's in this server pack and what it looks like on the server so obviously i'm going to forget this or that but you'll get the general idea of how amazing this server base is so first things first we started back in the day with ESX1 and that went all the way to ESX35. It's on the website now as ESX35 and that's this. This is a fully pimped out server that we used for many, many years. It's hundreds of resources, etc. I won't be going through ESX35. There are descriptions about these different frameworks on the website. But the latest framework is ESX3. Maybe ESX3. But I've just renamed mine to 4 and added a couple of extra edits. Uh, so we're, we're already on the next set. Uh, and if you're new around here, here's all the change logs. Give me a sec, boys. Here's the change logs, and it goes all the way back. Every change we make to these packs, and we've been doing this since pretty much late December. Um, the updating, releasing, editing for a long, long, long time. So ESX35, which the change logs are up here. This is the change logs for ESX35. There's 34. Um, but we're down here on ESX V2 because it started as this one started as a V2. Um, 0 0.1 and then from there it's gone all the way up to 3.5 and now we renamed it because it's getting confusing rib esx3 okay so the amount of changes all the change logs are here and it goes it goes back and it goes back obviously we're going to forget some changes here or there but thousands of edits thousands of amendments this that and the other so i won't be going through the change logs we'll go straight on the on the server and i'll try and talk you through the files first uh, to jog my own memory and we'll go from there so the admin stuff you've got all the we don't use the home button on this admin menu boys this admin menu is a bwh admin and it brings up a panel and i'll show you in game when we go in game it brings up a panel where you can unban um check the ban list etc which is good in comparison to the the other system the es admin which was just you press the home key and you had the option to ban and that was it there's no one ban you have to go into the database to do that whereas this system you don't Okay, so right, let's get rid of this this malarkey. And let's go down to the cot. So the admin, B, BWH, we use the BWH, and obviously you've got your spectate camps, forward slash spectate space, um, and the ID of that person. And you've got your forward slash kick, and that sort of stuff. Right, so let's go to, go down, we'll go down to one about, now cars on this vehicle, people asking, asking me how many vehicles are on the server. If I could put a number on it, I'd probably say about 500. There's literally that many cars, that many vehicles, that many packs that some of our awesome members, guys, packers put together. There are hundreds of vehicles within the server. We'll probably be able to get a number. Let's go onto, onto the database. These are all add-on vehicles, like real cars, uh, as well as all the 300-plus GTA cars that are there anyway. So let's go to vehicles, go to data. What does it go to? Oh, does it not give us a... Can I not insert a row and it'll give us a number or something? No, wounded. Empty. Can I cancel this? Delete selected row. Yes, mate. Right, so here's all the cars. And there's, like I say, there is hundreds. Yes, mate, of awesome bloody cars. Hundreds of add ons. And obviously, you've got the 300 of standard bloody GTA cars anyway. So, a lot of cars. A lot of motorbikes. A lot of everything. Sick. Yes, mate, I know. But like I say, we'll go into the vehicle shop. We're going to have a look at them. I'm just trying to re. It's just that's why I put this video off. It's going to be so hard to to remember everything, to take you through everything because the the server's that alive and there's that much going on. It's literally been on the go since the, the experience, the role play experience invested into them files. You're talking since 2013 when we played Armor yeah. Three. It's just a real dank server. So then we can't go through all this, but these are all different car packs and motorbike packs, and there's some absolute diamond vehicles shout out to bloody jack silence it's doing a lot of these as well as dodgy dave as well as myself but yeah some absolute amazing packs there and let's go down to the casino so these are more vehicle packs these are all the dlcs that get released for gta 5 all the casino dlcs obviously we have them all in so there's more vehicles and they're, they're awesome cars in game is the casino packs okay so we've got some dev stuff this is just a cord saver so you can do a commanding game uh, get coordinates and it saves it to a notepad 
Okay, down to disable police. There's going to be a couple of things that probably Dave's put in that I won't know what they are, but it'll probably tell us within the name. Uh, police vehicle weapon deleter. That's because this one here is when a cop, you jump in a police car, you, you'd automatically pick up a weapon, whereas with this resource you don't. Uh, no rewards. Not too sure what the no rewards were. They will enlighten us in the comments. Uh, GD Airport. I'm not too sure what that is. It's, it's needed. Dis disabled police stuff, maybe choppers, etc. Um, the core ESX, anybody who's running an ESX server, these are the public ESX. You need these to run a server. Anybody has to have them. The e essential mode and ES extended are compulsory for these files. You're talking hundreds of, of freight of 5M essential files and resources won't work if you change them. Don't change them. There's no need. I still got server files out there from 2018 versions of essential mode and ES extended that still work. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You, the only thing, the worst case scenario, you see this message where it will say, um, this will be an native execution argument at index one here. Use item. This is the async. This is to do with all this essential in the ES extended. Don't worry about it. Everything works. That's just when you get a, you're using an item. Don't worry about it. Right, so let's go down. So this is, we don't really need to go through all this. This is just the core ESX components. AKA you can set up a character, it saves you, you can set up licenses. Uh, this is the services when you go on service or off duty, whether a medic, a police, etc. Skin so you can change your appearance and all the PvP, so it's play for play, so you can attack other people. Skin change so you can change your look. You can get that general. We'll go into the ESX mods afterwards because there's a lot in there. EUP, I will do it now, I've said it, but EUP is for the emergency uniforms pack, it's some amazing, if you've got to be a 5M Patreon for this boys, EUP, I advise you do 5M Patreon, because without them we wouldn't be able to have these servers, so I think it's about the £15, $15 tier, which enables you to use EUP, which is a forward slash EUP in game, it's already set up in the server, in the files, happy days, game mode, you don't have to touch this, this is just core, 5m server stuff same as gameplay that's just what you need um when it comes to running servers the inventory is your inventory system we so you've got you've got an inventory system in your glove box which is g you've also got an inventory system in your trunk which is y i mean i really need to update all the key binds on the website but it's the same again it's a big job and the inventory hood which you'll see is two we did go try different a different inventory at some point called the disc inventory which is a very nice inventory it's just i preferred the weapon wheel and the simplicity of just a weapon wheel rather than pressing a key bind to get your weapons out it just worked a lot easier after using it for a while so i reverted back you'll see it through the change logs we reverted back from um the disc inventory and we put in the old inventory yeah so we, well we reverted back to the old inventory we got rid of the disc so that's what we use. We've still got the glove box, still got the trunk inventory. Happy days. Loading screen. You can download any loading screen. There's many out there. Nothing into that. Low column is just your 5M stuff. You just need to keep that. That's what you have. Same as the managers. Lock system is for the locking of the vehicles. Now, ours is different. A lot of people get confused at how the locking works. Basically, any ped car, any AI car you go to will probably be locked. It's a probability thing, but there will be some that are unlocked. So the chances are two in ten cars will open. Not only that, to get a to a moving ped car, if you point a weapon, if you threaten the ped, the AI driving that car, they should jump out of the car and you will receive the keys to that car. So that's how that lock system works. There's a lot of questions over that. Uh, it has got a dependency, which is ESX lock system as well, I believe, but we'll check into that. Right, managers, don't worry about that. That's all all 5m stuff map mods there's many many map mods as you know i love building maps so there's many in here and many public releases as well so the banner anims are the big animated banners as you'll see going around the square there's like three massive banners down near ammunition that's that one the bennies is the bennies garage you've seen it's decked out it's got a downstairs it's got an upstairs it's got an office it's a real decent bennies uh, the biker club up in sandy shore a sick biker club we did start seeing a lot of the guys using the biker club uh, but I, yeah, I haven't been active enough to to see that going properly. But it's a nice, it's a nice Y map. It wasn't made by me. It's made as a release, a public release over on the GTA 5 mods. The Bahama Marmers. This is the Bahama Marmers open MLO. MLO. The Borough Cafe. While I'm here, let's get rid of that. I forgot about that. The Casino V2. Which one is this? Is this the arcade? 
think this must be the arcade which is on the corner of Legion Square. It's pretty damn sick. Um, anything I get wrong here, Dave, if you can correct me, that'd be great. The Chop Shop, which is... Where's the Chop Shop? Oh, this is Dave's Chop Shop. Dave made this one. This is down next to Benny's. It's opposite Benny's where the little garage you can go in and have the, the paint job. Cinema up on Legion Square. Same again. The Festival, which is made by me and Dave. Sick. Custom maps. There's loads of custom maps on here, boys. The Festival is on your way to Sandy Shores. You'll see it. It's dank. Fight Club. It's a nice little fight club MLO that's been added down near the strip club. Ikea we don't actually use at the minute, but it's in there. The jewellery store. This is a jewellery store that I made, which is a replacement to the bar the barber MLO. But it's a decent jewellery store. We use it for a robbery within the system. A Legion Square. Legion sign. It's That's a sign that I stuck on the top of the square. Next to the garage, there's a big sign on the top. Uh, and that's where that's come. At the minute, it's a Steve Taco sign. And that's that. Lizard V2, this is the Lizard Lick, this is the impound guys, there's a, there's a job role in the server and it's the Lizard, so set job ID, Lizard, space, one, two or three, and down at the beach, down to where the Coast Guard, where the old car dealer was, there's a Liz Lizard Lick impound yard, where they were going to role play with that job, and that's the job, that's the, the map for it. Mackey's, that's, that's not actually a map mod, that is the shops for McDonald's within the server. McDirty's, that's a ranch we opened up, up on... Up now, where the cocaine processing is. It's the McDirty Ranch. If you know it, you know it. Happy days. We had to stick some extra doors and stuff on there so we could get some locks. McDonald's is one of my, my better builds. It was McDonald's. It's exactly what it says on it. Tin. Exterior and interior of the McDonald's. It's pretty dank. Mission Row gates. There's some gates, etc. all around Mission Row. So you don't get noobs. Keep driving in there, pissing you off. No barriers. Just I removed the barriers at the car park at Legion Square. You'll notice there's no barriers at the car park. Open weapon shop, we don't actually use it, it's not actually in the server CFG, but the open weapon shop is, because we did make our gun dealer a private job, so the open weapon shop was to open the office door within the ammunition. It's not in the server CFG, so if you did want it, just put it in the server CFG. Pablito Taco, that is Steve's Taco Shop down near Grove Street, you know the little taco shop where Steve's Tacos, it's another job roll stroke gang within the server called Steve's Tacos. Uh, that would be set job ID space Steve space one two or three you'd have to see the job grades but his building his yeah his markers etc for that job you get some special items at Steve Tacos is the taco shop next to the used car dealers on the way to Grove Street and that's the map for it the pawn shop's a little pawn pawn shop that I made next to Legion Square where there's two robbery systems in here guys which I'll hopefully remember to show you around uh, when you go burglar in it Everything you burgle from watches to laptops, you can take to this pawn shop, which is next to Legion Square, and you can sell the stuff. It's only just been made. It was a job at some point, i.e. set job ID, pawn. So only he could use the pawn shop. But no, we made it public again because he was never there. So bring your stuff that you steal to this place, which is at Legion Square. I'll keep the this map mods open when we're on the server so I can remember to show you around. Pillbox MLO is just a hospital that's just been opened up. Okay, Rib Fed. This is the Federal Reserve. I made a Federal Reserve. It's also got a robbery, another robbery, just just more robberies, the better. And the Federal Reserve map itself is pretty sweet. And that's up next to the observatory in the hills of Vinewood. Rib Jail. We made our own jail. It's up on Sandy Shores Airstrip. It's freaking frick, dank. We made it basically, basically so we could have um, well, we could have prison breaks for one. We could have visitors for two. There's just more role play possibilities. I mean. When I'm on as Frank, I'm always up there having a bit of banter with the inmates, especially if there's, you know, you're going to be getting banter from that particular inmate and he's up there for a long time. So, yeah, the rib jail is pretty sweet. The rib rig, that's an oil rig. I don't, we don't actually use it in a minute, but that's an oil rig. If you wanted to use it, put it in your service CFG. I did put our dirty money or that we used the oil job. Oh, well, actually, it might be used with the oil job. I'd have to double check that. But the rib rig is the oil rig that sh might be used with the fuel stroke oil job. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, the Spy Den is another little MLO uh, Y map that we made. It's a gang hideout stroke Spy Den, aka one of the drugs you can pick in the server is spice, a spice at a spice field, and you take this spice to the Spy Den, which is located. You'd have to go in that in the drugs ESX drugs to find out the location of the Spy Den. Uh, but I'll try and show you on the server. I can never fucking find it, but we'll we'll try and find it. So the Spy Den is where you 
process your spice to then go and sell it down at Smoke in the Water. All your drugs get sold at Smoke on the Water, boys. Okay, another map that I built, which is an amazing map. It started off the Ribusa Tuesday racing days, which is awesome. It's the rib track down at the airport. And no other server, like a lot of these builds, unless you've got my files, no one's got these this yet. The rib racing track down at the airport. Sick. Check it out on the videos with Busa. Shit, Lord, this is my new map. It hasn't been released separate. This has been released separately to all the supporter packs because there's already within the supporter pack for one payment. You get all my bloody five server files that we worked on for many years, as well as the 20 plus maps. So this map here, the Shit Lord map, and a lot of people have been ste not stealing but leaking. And you know what I mean, I can't fucking avoid that. But this map took me a week to make, and it's getting it's going to be probably sold separately. I haven't debated properly yet. But that's the nightclub, Club Omega, and the, the holding cell. SLBK, SLBK Mission Row is made by SLBK. It's the Mission Row. It's a public release. It's extended Mission Row. It's massive. It's amazing. He's a, he's a top builder. I'm sure I remember him from Armour 3. Taxi Office is the Speedy Cabs Office, which is just up next to the Lost MC. It's a decent map. Used car map it makes the used car dealers down near Grove Street enterable. So it's not just a uh, just a shell. So you can actually go in there. Happy days. And it's got a garage that's extended. Sweet ass. The Vine is the Vinewood Mansion. Which is we've got another robbery up at the Vinewood Mansion. Um, it's a good nice place. Really decent MLO. And it's like I say. It's got a, a robbery up there that gets used all the time. Wall art contains around 200 paintings. Basically that was just added for me. Because I can then I've got a lot more paintings to, to go and reskin for with these map builds. You know. Happy days. So I hope you understand. I hope I explained a lot of stuff there, boys. I feel like we have, so let's move on. Okay, so notifications. So these are just your notifications that pop up when you're doing certain tasks within the server. Mythic Notify, P Notify, Progress Bars. Don't get messed with anything because no doubt there are going to be a lot of resources, particularly ESX underscore uh, whatever it is, gold, for instance, which would use a progress bar when processing. They've got, they're going to have... What the... What the well they require these you know so don't don't get touching those notifications okay let's go down to the phone we just use the gc phone it does work it rings it works great you have to use your because we use taco vop which i'll come on to again which is a pretty fucking amazing with the radio i didn't want to use taco vop for your ip for ages in in the end we made the leap and it was the best leap we made Using the radios forward slash radio, another feature you got in game. Set your own channel, works awesome. Set your own radio key, happy days, and it works well with the GC phone. Everything works. On Kidori. Queue, this is the queuing system. So to whitelist your server, you'd go into this queue, you'd add people to this whitelist if you want to take the whitelist off. Um, and I think you'd just find it. Would you just find it? It's back in that file I was just in. Uh, back in here. And you'd scroll down. All this information is on the website. Blah, 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 blah. And down to an option down here where it says whitelist only server. Put that to false and you, there's, you don't. there's no more whitelist on the server. Happy days. If you do want a whitelist, pull it to true. To add people to the whitelist, you need them to give you their Steam64 and then you'll convert it to a binary to hex converter, which will give you a numeric number like this, digit like this. And happy days, add them to the list exactly as it all the others are. So that's the queue system. It works well. Used it for a long time. Okay, ribs. Oh, fucking hell, there's a million there. We'll come back to that. Same as ESX mods. We need to go to ESX mods and ribs. There's hundreds in here of resources. So we'll do that last. System. This is just all core essential stuff you need to run a 5M server. Don't get touching it. Same applies for test. Don't get touching any of this. There's Taco, which is the radio stroke voice proximity script that we use it does need team speak you can set up a, a free team speak server if you're running a 5m server properly you should have a vps and if you've got a vps then you can have a free team speak server happy days Go youtube free team speak 3 rib so saying we could take it to the, the video watermark that's just in the bottom right just a little watermark so happy days if you want to know how to change it it's in there simple as that if you want to take it off Take it out your server CFG. Hypnomia. Hypnonema is for all the screens. In game, we can, you, very, you can actually have a, a cinema or you can turn on any screen. It's used all the time in our streams and our servers with our DJs. It's fucking awesome. So shout out to that guy. Right. So let's go to ESX mods first. Damn. Damn. Right. 
give me one sec. Jeez, I'm going to have no voice left. Right, changing rooms is for, for the job so they can change from their civilian clothes to work clothes. ESS ac accessories is accessories for weapons, from what I remember. Let me just have a double check. Uh, is it adding some stuff for guns? Glasses, helmet, mask. Okay, it was accessories as, as in facial accessories like helmets, glasses, as it says on the tin. Sweet as. Advanced fishing is a fishing script which is in the server. That you have you, you basically have to go really really far out at sea with a rod and some bait that you can buy from the shop and then use the rod and the bait to catch fish and you'll pop up saying press number one to catch fish etc uh, if you use turtle bait you'll catch bigger fish or turtles or shark which are worth the most and then you'll take them to the fish sale point pretty simple okay advert was a forward slash add and you can put an advert within the server I think I put it job dependent, so it might you might need to, I think it was only for speedy cabs. Uh, yeah, taxi, only taxi drivers at the minute can change it. You can make it job dependent, or you can just comment that shit out. Happy days. Ambulance job, so this is for the medics. Obviously, the medics have got an F6 menu. Um, all medics features, as you would expect, revive, bandage up, etc. To get all their med kits and bandages, it's at the desk within the pillbox hospital, but we'll take you through it when we get a chance. Armour, armour's in the shops, dense armour or normal armour, F2, use the armour, pretty simple, barbershop, go and get a haircut, pretty damn fucking self-explanatory, basic needs is down to like your water and your bread and all your basic needs, happy days, Benny's is the actual mechanic, is Benny's the job around here, or is this a map, it can't be a map, is this the mechanic, oh crap, did you hear that shit, mechanic job set, Benny's is part of the mechanic job, so down at Benny's, they've got a lot going down on down there. Oh, yes, I'm sorry, I remember what Benny's is now. ESX Benny's was a different kind of LS Customs. It's where you pimp up your car. However, there's a lot more different options within this ESX Benny's than there is in the ESX LS Customs. But we use both. They're both in the Benny's garage. Uh, happy days. So binoculars was just a... Binoculars was just a just an item you can use. It actually works. F2 use. Buy it from the shop. F2 use. And you'll have a set, working set of binoculars. ASX bus is a bus job. Go to the job centre. Select the bus job. Go next door. Put on the bus clothes. Get your bus and go round to the points. Return the bus. Get paid. Simple as that. Just a standard ESX job. Car wash. You can go to the car wash. You can wash your car. Change your prices. Do what you want to it. It's pretty simple. Clothes shop. Exactly what it says on the tin. A clothes shop you can go to and you can select your clothes, select your tops, select your t-shirts, select your torso, select your trousers, select your shoes. You can get the appearance you want of your character. Community service. Okay, basically as a cop you have the, the option with your F6 menu to, to send somebody on community service. And if you send them to community service it comes up with a box with the amount of time to send them. Um, and Let's say 30 for instance, that, that means they would go to and do 30 actions. So it all goes by actions and that person who's got the community service will have a brush in their hand. They'll be teleported to Legion Square where they'll have 30 points. They'll see arrows, 30 arrows to go and brush up and then they'll be released. Criminal records is something again on the F6 menu for the police where they can leave a note, a message about an individual. ESX detector, I don't think we use it anywhere at the minute, but a detector, or maybe we use it at the prison. The detector, you could put the coordinates on this to anywhere. Um, and it will alarm when somebody walks past that detector with, it's not actually a prop, it's, it's just, it goes by the code, the coordinate. When somebody crosses that line, invisible line with a, a weapon, it will pop, pop up in chat. That was adapted into the prison notification. When somebody tries to break out of jail, the detector will go and we'll get the alert. DMV school is where you go to get your driving license. Yes, would you believe it? There's a theory and a practical test. ESX door lock is so you can buy so you when you purchase your cars you can only do it to purchase cars boys you can lock the door you press you it's pretty fucking simple dlp garage where you store and you take out your vehicles so if you buy a vehicle um you want to store it in your garage and when you next come into town you'll retrieve it from your garage happy days and a bit of advice if you go and pimp out your cars and you do all sorts of your cars down at Benny's. Make sure you come and put and store your, your car and get it back out because it might not sink if you don't store it and the server goes down, for example. Right, ESX drugs. 
there's all your options for the drugs so in our town you can do weed you can do coke or you can do spice you can add as many drugs as you want you just follow the format of the others i added spice happy days so you'd go to any of these fields to be on the map these are all on the map weed coke and spice um, so you'd go to the weed field for example and you'd see the plants you'd go up to the plant and you'd say press e and you'd do an action to pick up the the cannabis and it would go into your inventory you say you've got weed but the same would apply for the coke and the spice they've all got plants that you go to to harvest those drugs and then you'll take them to the treatment centers if you don't know where they are you can go forward slash tp and then put in these coordinates and it'll take you straight there so once you've processed your drugs so here's the process down here here's the field sorry here's the processors once you process your drugs all the drugs get sold at the drug dealer who's down at smoke on the water down at smoke on the water which is down at the beach happy days next to the coast guard so all your options for your drugs are in here yes mate okay moving on here's sex drugs duty was here sex duty was the as the police or medics actually you can sign on or off duty extra items which one was this an oxygen mask and some dense armor they're just it's just more items that are in shops gold dig this is you can go to the gold uh, quarry and you can use a drill the drill that comes as part of the job and you can go up to a certain rock and you can harvest gold and then you can take it to the processor which is down near I mean all the options are gonna be in here so you began to do forward slash TP and take it so there's the wheat the gold field if you wanted to change that and the other options for the processes etc must be within within there but we're not we're not looking into the scripts right now but yeah process the gold and then take it to which is next to the McDirty ranch off my memory then take it to sell it at where do you sell it boys must be the pawn shop maybe the pawn shop I don't know you'd have to remind me okay go postal it's just another standard kind of ESX job you go to the the job center get the go postal job go to the go postal depot put on the clothes drive the van to certain locations where it'll tell you in the bottom left and then return the van and get paid handcuffs as i say if you can buy handcuffs and you can use the handcuffs and handcuff somebody esx hold up is where we have all the robbing locations so at the minute you can like i say you can you can rob all these different stores but i've added in the o'neill's farm the federal reserve uh, and a couple of others there was mcdonald's and stuff in here as well but at the minute the federal reserve and we don't use o'neill so this is where you would add in more robberies and obviously more settings for it would be within the files all the banks that you rob are within hold up bank esx hold up bank so at the minute you can rob four banks and it's pretty simple you just need a weapon go into the red market at the vault uh, and press the, the trigger action hold the place down for 10 minutes uh, and get paid i don't want it anything complex anything that's for you guys if you want something complex you add it simpler the better for me for my people i don't want it to be uh, a ball like job listing is the job center all oh, servers like you know they've got a job center that's ours job listing uh, jobs that's some jobs for the job center just a default core like your minor your let's have a look ones are in here it's just going to be your core yeah taxi the police the meccano the ambulance etc etc some jobs so if you want to change the, the prices or anything like that for that job that would be within there however the paychecks are in your database okay crow is your farming job so you can go milk cows see i don't think we use this at the minute but you can simply add it in it will work you can milk cows up at o'neill's farm and then that milk you take to what was the crucial fix but i've took it out of my files i actually need to move that so i might get around to that okay tackle when you're chasing somebody has the police you can press g and you'll tackle that person to the ground esx lizard was the actual jobs the functions the menu the spawn of a flatbed truck for the lizard lake like i say you can do set job id space lizard space three or whatever the grade is in the job grades that will give you the lizard job lizard lick job role and that then from there you've got an f6 menu where you can spawn your flatbed truck uh, and do what you need to do ls customs yeah, everybody knows what ls customs is where you're going to go and pimp out your car if you want to put it in different places you do it within the ls custom here or like i say just leave it as it is it's down at benny's with all the other benny's kind of stuff esx mafia is a gang stroke mafia it's going to have an f6 menu it's got a location it's got a hq you can take this resource just copy it all just change mafia and make it into as many gangs as you want i've done it before with 
Ballers, Grove, all sorts of gangs. But at the minute, um, we use the ESX Mafia, which is Franklin's... It's a, it's whitelisted, this job is. So you do set jobs, space ID, space Mafia, space 3, or whatever. Check the job grades. But it's a whitelisted yeah. job. It's got an F6 menu. It's got all spawns for vehicles, weapons, employment, society, all at Franklin's apartment, the new place. But like I say, you could take that as a template and create as many different gangs as change the coordinates, etc. It's as many as you want. ESX yeah. McDirty is the McDirty role, the McDirty job for our doors up at the McDirty ranch. We, as the McDirty's, because we got into a bit of impounding as well. Fucking Discord, do what, do one. Hold on. Jeez. Right, um, so the McDirty's can also spawn in a flatbed because that's the. In my town, remember, these files were all made for the characters and the role play within my town. And in my town, the, dirt, the McDirties got into a bit of impound. And not that they're doing that now because they've owned this club, but the bread and butter would be um, the flatbed trucks, the impounding vehicles. And yeah, so that's why that, in the Essex menu, you've got uh, spawn flatbed. The mechanic job, F6 menu, is very complex, very good, very custom um, worked on mechanic job and f6 menu and all the all the everything works you can tow any vehicle modded vehicle gta vehicle it's been heavily worked on by jack and dave because them guys have worked as mechanics for on the server for years now for a long time esx med was a forward slash med if i recalls me which gives you a load of statistics about the person that's down if you're a medic money wash is the money wash so if you get dirty money from your drugs or robberies You'd go to the Money Wash MLO, which is up on but, but, but at the back of Principal Bank. That's where you'd wash your money. ESX Nightclub is the docks, as far as I'm aware. This is going to be the docks nightclub stuff. Oh, no, it's a nightclub job. I can't remember where Dave said it was. I remember him adding it not long ago. That one, I'm not too sure. Outlaw Alert. As a cop, you'll see alerts in the bottom left. Every time somebody shoots a gun, every time somebody attacks someone, those alerts are coming from Outlaw Alert. ESX Pawn, like I say, with the two robbery systems we got in, anything you find from those robberies, you can come down to the, the pawn shop, which is at Legion Square, and you can sell all that items to the ESX Pawn shop. Yes, mate. Plastic surgery, you're not happy with your face, you can go to the plastic surgery, which I believe is up at Pillbox Hospital, outside Pillbox Hospital, and you can change your appearance. ESX Police Job, we all know the police job, obviously all your civilian interactions, all your vehicle interactions, all that is in the, within the F6 menu, all your car spawns, all your cloakroom, it's all at Mission Row, Mission Row is our main PD, and that is the, everything was, is in within there, and the police job, ESX police job. Right, the MDT is forward slash MDT, it's a CAD, so as police you'd use forward slash MDT for your CAD, indeed. Properties, just for the properties that are for sale within the server, happy days, you can see all the property information within the database in Heidi. Um, Cal Jail is just the jailing system. You can do forward slash jail space ID space reason, or you can use the F6 menu and just go to jail, which will jail the, the closest person to you. Um, happy days, and then you put in an amount. Rusky arrest is just an uh, animation for the arresting. Uh, shout out to that as a nice animation. Scoreboard is just your F10 for the playlist to see who's on the server. Security cam is a script that we had for the McDirties that looked over the McDirty fields. I don't know if this is what Dave's amended because now we also have forward slash pol cam, which will be the police cameras over on the power station, which is a whole, again, a whole new bloody thing. You can now turn off the power at the power station, which is marked up on the map, which then opens up all the doors and turns off all the lights within the city. Then the police have to go back there and turn the power on. Uh, but for them to be able to turn off the power, they need a key card. Yeah, which they find at robberies. Okay, ESX sell gold is where they sell the gold. So the config for the location for this will be within here. Gold process selling gold. So that's where this was, was what I was looking for. Happy days. I'm not too sure where that is, but I could do forward slash TP and go there. But I'm not going to, obviously. Okay, next up, ESX shops. Just basically for all the shops within the server, you'll see the little marker for shops. And there's probably, what, 20 plus with all your bread, water, anything you put in them shops. And to add them to the shops, you do that within the database. Happy days. ESX sit is for your bomb. Bom, 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 bom. You'll notice a lot of chairs within games, a lot of seats will have an interaction. It will say press G to sit. And that's where that's coming from. 
ASX slots is for the arcade that we just a new arcade up on Legion Square. You can go in there and you can actually gamble at the arcade. It's pretty dank. Status is status. I'm not too fucking sure. Status max, tick time. Not too sure. Status, somebody. Yeah, let me know in the, the uh, description, Dave. Thank you. Tattoo is pretty explanatory. You'll see the marks on the map. Go and get yourself a tattoo, which are persistent and will stay. Taxi job. Go pick up local AI. It's, it's delete key from what I remember. I haven't done it for like a while, but it's your delete key within on your keyboard, which will then activate local AI taxi jobs. And you pick them up, take them to a location, change all the prices within their taxi job. I can't see it here. It must be in the rib files, but there's also a taxi meter, which is your home key. Or it was, I remember it being a home key. I'm sure it's a home key. We can have a look when we come to it. ESX thief is when somebody is down. You can do forward slash rob. Where that's coming from ESX thief. TPM is you can te basically teleport to a marker. So set a marker on the map, then do forward slash TPM. And that's the resource that allows you to do that. Okay, Vangelico robbery is the robbery. Everybody knows the jewelry store within the GTA up on Melrose. You know the nice jewelry store, the actual GTA 5 default jewelry store. You can rob it. You need a weapon. Go to it. There'll be a circle. Then you run around each cabinet uh, and you press E to take the jewels. And then you take the jewels to to sell. You sell them at Leicester's, which is the other side of Vespucci Bridge. But all the information, all the, all the configs will be within here. And then this is the second robbery system, because as I showed you before, I made another jewellery store, which will have a crown on it on the map. Um, so yeah, you can go and rob. Same applies. You can go and rob that one too. Pretty explanatory, the vehicle shop. So you can just go and look through the vehicle lists. There's going to be about, I mean, like there's a lot of vehicles on here, like I say. So there's going to be about... 15 different categories 20 vehicles per category or something and if it's your first time ever looking through this list of vehicles boys it'll take you a long time to download them depending on your internet and your pc but i suggest just stand there and go through the list until they've downloaded because it only does it once once you've downloaded those pcs to your cache it's instant you'll never have to wait again it's but the first time you ever go through that vehicle shop you will have to download them add-on vehicles to your pc if you understand me Okay, the Vine Robbery is the Vinewood Mansion that I talked about previously, the map mod. Um, and that's a robbery you can do up at the Vine Vine Robbery. Well, so that's, that's the robbery for the Vinewood Mansion, indeed. Vineyard, sorry. Vineyard, not Vinewood. Vineyard, indeed. ASX Wanted, which is another pretty sick, sick uh, little script that was added. It's in the F6 menu for the police. They can add somebody to a wanted... Um, a wanted charge, which then will pop up a location... An area like a, a vicinity where that person that's wanted is pretty cool works well weapon shops it's just a shop for the weapons obviously there are ammunitions they're on the in your map you'll see weapon shops uh, and yeah pretty self-explanatory go and get yourself a weapon there's two kind of weapon shops though there's your normal weapons and then there's your black market weapons and there you can add each weapon to each to either within the database so you, in your database you'll have the weapon shops or you want to change the location to the black market or the other shop and that's just there change the coordinates if you don't know where these are do forward slash tp space and put in these coordinates with no commas and you'll be able to tp there and find out where it actually is okay i'm not losing my voice boys so let's keep pushing esx yacht it's another robbery on the server you can rob the yacht it's pretty awesome it's a little boat down a yacht down on the on the beach um, next to smoke on the water happy days gets used a lot sell vehicles at the used car dealer you can now sell vehicles well not now you've been able to do it for a long time so take your vehicle you don't want anymore there and it'll pull it out for display happy days i need a drink damn man's not got a drink Hold up. okay push vehicle just for the role play you'll have the when there's a broken down vehicle in the middle of the road etc you'll have an interaction that will say shift w and you can push the vehicle off the road it's pretty cool Legacy fuel, your fuel will run out. You need to go to the fuel station to fill up. You stand outside the car, go to the fuel pump, and it will say press E to fill up, or you can fill up with a jerry can. It's a good fuel system that works. Happy days. Lens chop shop, as located in bunnies, like anything else, mechanics, pretty much. Um, you can take a car to the chop shop, pull it in the marker, press the interaction, and it will drop off the car, the doors, the, the bonnets, the boots. And it will then give you all them parts, which you then can take to the, the, the guy that sells, that buys the stuff off you, which is also located in Benny's, but all the configs will be within there. 
LS Radio is part of Toco VOIP. So when you go forward slash radio, uh, it will bring up an interact uh, a GUI, a GUI of that radio, a picture of the radio, and you can put in the type in there one to one hundred, a channel for you and your friends to go on. Then use your radio key to communicate. But the radio key is kind of awkward. You have to set it in the controls in GTA 5 and it's under bicycle sprint or something like that and that's where you set your key NK repair is just a repair animation NPC car, car aim yeah this uh, is this the one on? car aim flee I think if this is part of the lock yeah the when you aim the weapon at the AI they'll run off and you'll get the key for that vehicle an outfit was supposed to be closed for blah, 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 jobs I hope I explained a lot there. Damn. Right, let's go back out of this. Then we got the other big folder. My folder. Where is it? Let's get out. Out. I'm not going to be able to go on the server and show you around the server at the same time. This will be a, a look at the files and, and then we'll go on when I can. If it's going to be long enough. We'll have a look around the server. Right, like I say, 3D me. What was this? Yeah, yeah, this was a... If you do forward slash me space... Just took a shit. It'll come up and you can see that person with a special like um, bit of text up next to them, which will be just took a shit. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Sort of thing. Yeah. Burglary. Right. Like I say, there's two different types of burglary systems in the server. There's one system where you, there's four particular houses. You could add more. One being, um, let's think of the houses. Which ones are they? Franklin's old house up near Grove Street. You've got the janitor's house. Which is near the beach you've got michael's house and you've got another little house next to smoke on the water the configs the ip sorry the coordinates will be within there so but these houses you have to go and beat down the front door when you're beating down the front door the police do get the alarms but if you gain entry you'll be able to search all the drawers uh, for for stuff to steal such as uh, watches laptops coke clothes all that sort of things which you then sell, like I say, at the pawn shop. Or some things you can sell at the dealer as well. Yeah, it's smoking the water. And the other, so like I say, the one burglary system does that, is those four properties. But the other burglary system, you need what's called a multi-pick, which is the advanced lock pick, which is a multi-pick. And you can get there from Steve's Tacos, and you can basically rob the whole of Grove Street. Yeah, pretty much. Right, carry people. You can go to somebody and go forward slash carry, and that will pick them up forward slash carry again to, to put them down chair bed system this is just for the hospital bed you, you can stand next to a bed and say press g to lie on the bed happy days close this is if you press delete you'll get a prop menu nobody abuses it in my town you might want to take it out depending on your player base but close you can get a lot of extras or a lot more peds and stuff within the clothes and talking about peds our new identity skin changing system has like 400 odd peds you can use now so it's pretty fucking sick club stuff like for the DJ dot job, there's a little at the booth at the Bahama Marmas particularly, or at the docks for the lasers for the for the music. That's within club stuff. Coffees, I think this was for the coffee machines that are going around the map. Yeah, nothing special there. Just just a little. I'm not too sure. I think that's what it was. Coffee machines with coffees around the map. Damages. There's gonna be a load of random stuff in here. Damages on what? Underwater stamina, taser time. Okay, so this is for some melee damage. Okay, so you can have, so you can fight for a lot longer. You turn it all down, you know. Like if you wanted it to be knocked out in one punch, turn it up. If you wanted it to be so, ours is so we can ours is right down, so you can actually stand there and have a good bloody fight. So that's and the taser time, etc. is all within damages. Dice, you can actually play dice. It's forward slash dice, from what I remember. Donuts are are these the special donuts? Just special glazed donuts and. Um, some items, DP emotes, F3 for DP emotes, the dank, shout out, DP emotes, EUP stream and EUP UI are for both dependencies for EUP, uh, which is the emergency uniform pack, which is awesome, but you need to be a 5M patron to use them, and I suggest you are, indeed, support the project. Fireworks, you can basically buy fireworks from the store, F2 use them, they're awesome, no specialty to David. The speedometer, I don't think we use this a minute, we don't use this, it doesn't need to be here, but you might want to use it, we don't, we use true hood, flashing headlights for the police, so the light headlights flash, hands up is X, 
so that's for that animation hat is forward slash hat for the police heli is for the oh no that isn't the heli cam i think that is the heli cam let's see max speed toggle vision is it that's the same script as that we already had it but dave didn't realize yeah isn't it i, I might not have had it in but anyway it's uh hide in trunk you'll have when you stand the next to a boost next to a trunk you'll have the option to hide in that trunk hot dogs what was the hot dog i think those are the actual yeah some items that you can buy with actual animations and pictures of that hot dog model of the hot dog House robbery, so that was the other burglary system. This is the one that you can rob the whole of Grove Street, but you need multi picks. You might want to add them to different shops at the minute. And mine, you can only hide, sorry, buy them from Steve's Tacos because Steve was a big character in our server that everybody knows Steve's and his dodginess. ID overheads a lot of you want to remove this ID. I don't advise moving, ad, removing the ID because if you remove the ID, you'll find it's a pain in the arse to ban someone when shit's going down. Been there, done that. Injury, I actually took this off, or if it's still on, it might be still on, this is for the, yeah, if you're injured, for the damage, the walk, use blood, false, bleed false, so yeah, more options will be in there, we're not going to investigate right now, interact sound is just a dependency for the phone and stuff like that, ID card, you can do forward slash show ID, forward slash ID and all that malarkey, same applies for your license plate, your driving um, licenses, Lux vehicle control, somebody was asking this the other day, Looks for if you your police cars don't work, your sirens don't work, and your lights don't work. It's because you haven't got looks for vehicle, vehicle control. This enables the Q and Alt um, for just that. LV headlights. This is so you can change the colour of your headlights. There's a marker on the map. I think it's down near the docks. We can go and change the headlight colour. I never have, but it's a uh, Mac is. I mean, I can remove that one because it's already in. I said before that was all the cheeseburgers and different items for McDonald's. Native UI, native, reloaded. Oh, I presume something. There are dependencies for something. Neon toggle, so you can do forward slash neon. New banking is the banking system with all the, um, do, 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 with all your cash points and your withdraw deposit, all your interfaces. So that's the new banking. No drive by. It's so person when you're driving a car you can't shoot from the driver's seat because it's such a fucking in a role play server it's a pain in the ass man if you can't drive uh, you can't shoot from the driver's seat ped density if you want to turn down the ai turn down the cars turn down the, the ai that's it within ped density lower the better peds this is to if you got some want to reskin um some cock clothes etc just put the skins in here and it will reskin them happy days uh, piggyback so you can do forward slash piggyback is it forward slash piggyback same as applies as, as carry it's just something funny point in is b to point power station blip is just exactly what it says the blip for the power station like i say if you've got a key card if you've if you found a key card from one of these robberies you can now go and turn off the power at the power station which then opens every door within the server so you can go bloody robbing or you can go fucking yeah up to some dodginess put on you can take off your clothes you can do forward slash put on um, and have the option to take off, put on, close. Realistic vehicle failure. I mean, you can put, you can put bloody punctures to all sorts on in here. Obviously, I took them off because it's very annoying. Record command. So this was so you can do forward slash record, so you can get the Rockstar editor working because that shit's a pain in the ass. Roll call. Certain vehicles you can do shift X, which will spit out tons of smoke. You can add those different vehicles within the files within that rsx oh yeah this is a new one the money truck and now you can now rob money trucks armored trucks they pop up you can go rob them happy days seat belt b press b seat belt seat shuffle you can do forward slash driver forward slash passenger sign which sign was this oh yeah this is a, just a sign up if you know the vote mcdirty pd corrupt vote mcdirty that comes from the sign this two step was the pom 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 the exhaust backfires so two step you can add different vehicles within two step smoke is forward slash smoke so you can just have a quick smoke animation street label is for your little labels when you're police and you need that when you're doing call outs calling off Vespucci, that comes from your street labels street races i mean if you know how to use it you know how to use it there is a big list on the discord how to use street races but that you can set up a race within the server Taxi master, which must be the meter 
for the taxi you can if you wanted an extra role play you can have a meter I can't remember what the key was right now I think it was home but I forget yeah Woody or somebody to say down below yeah yeah at home so that's get your meter up and uh, what else have we got TP so you can do forward slash TP space to the core any coordinate tune a laptop you can get this from steve's tacos i believe you can also find them in the robberies or like i say any item you can add to any shop within that database so the tuner laptop is you go to f2 in use when you're in a vehicle and you can put a load more boost low more brakes or whatever to your vehicle it's sick vehicle commands such as horde foot such as forward slash bloody trunk foot you know they're the commands for the vehicles vehicle extra menu uh do we use this don't remember using the vehicle extra menu. Any fragments false. Disable auto repair. True. 56. I don't know what the fucking key is. What was the key for the vehicle extra menu? We mustn't use it at the minute. Well, because I think it was F10. V sync is so everybody's got the same time and weather. Wash is so you can do forward slash clean on your vehicle. Just more role play. Weaponry is to remove the rectical in game if you want the aim and back and the rectical back then you would yeah you would remove weaponry and wkwrs is the police radar happy days have I, have I showed us around the whole lot uh yes x4 resources i did the big one i did the big one happy days and that my friends right there is what we're looking 6.1 gig full of bloody content indeed now indeed absolute fucking tons try to restructure this a lot more get it a lot more organized as well if you are a legitimate support i hope this video has helped you it's taken an absolute nightmare to make obviously i've just spoke literally talked for 50 minutes non-stop I would have tried to go in the server and show you around the server at the same time, but literally that has just killed me off doing that for you. So to put another hour or two on top by showing you around in the actual server, yeah, well, that'll be a ball ache. We'll do that on another video, boys, when I find more time. But I hope this helps. And uh, what else I going to do? Well, I'll quit look at the database. Quit look at near to base. So all this is your core inventory items all this is just your so then you always go to data a lot of people don't know you click data at the top yeah the people's items this is just your core your sex stuff arrest list billing bolos list this is where all the information go car dealer vehicles you don't need to worry about that we don't have we don't use a car dealer at the moment glove box items pretty self expansion shop stuff there's your weapon shops obviously if you wanted to add more weapons to the gun shop normal gun shops you just follow the exact format Add more weapons to the black weapon shop. Change the prices. You do that all that here. Shops. So here's where you'd add something to a shop. But before you do this, you'd make sure you've added the item. So go and add your item first. So this is where you'd add the item. Happy days. Depending on what item it is. As you can see, there's fucking tons. And then you'd, do, you'd put in the shops. You'd declare where, which shop you want that item to go in. You know? Happy days. So at Steve's, you can buy special donuts, tacos. Um, I think all sorts of stuff here, handcuffs, keys, you can buy a key at Steve's, a fucking ass dodge, but yeah, job grades, so these are all the grades, so when you do forward slash job space, ID space, uh, mafia space, and you want to know the, who's the boss, three, the boss, you know, Meccano, set job space, ID space, uh, Meccano space, one to three, so the boss would be four, you got me? There's all your different jobs. Ones are whitelisted jobs. Car dealers whitelisted at the minute because we don't, we're not. The player management is turned false, so the the shop's public. Our vehicle shop is public. There's just never somebody to accommodate to all every different type of time zone. It ain't gonna happen. So we made our car dealer public. So that's whitelisted at the minute. The firm that was another gang is whitelisted. So you set job ID space firm space three or whatever. Fisherman jobs, all these jobs you can get from the job centre. There's another gang, the haulers. Uh, that was another job. Lizard Lick, the Mafia, the McDirties. It's all here, boys.
Right, I hope this video helps because it's literally, like I say, they're, they're a nightmare to make because there's so much fucking content to go through and I'm still going to guarantee you I've missed quite a lot. But I hope it helps. Like, subscribe. Ribsoce.com for all your 5M needs. Go and help out 5M as well and make sure you're a Patreon over there. Peace out, guys. Take care. I'll do another. When I get the more time, I've already lost my voice. I'll, uh, I'll get a video going around actually in the server as well. But that's just killed me off. Take care. Ta-da.